Hi, everybody, and welcome back to The Upper Room. It's me again, Jerry. This week, we're talking about the rosary. The rosary was given to St. Dominic in 1214 AD in an apparition by the Virgin Mary. He was praying for the conversion of his countrymen to Christianity and the Catholic faith, and he wasn't having much, much luck in doing it. So he went out to the forest, and he prayed fervently for three days, and the Virgin Mary appeared to him and taught him how to pray his Psalter in a different way. For all those who pray the rosary, she gave 15 promises to, to people who would be devout to it. And the promises go as follows. Number one, whoever shall faithfully serve me by the recitation of the rosary shall receive signal graces. It will cause virtue and good works to flourish. Oh, that souls would sanctify themselves by this means. Whoever shall have a true devotion for the rosary shall not die without the sacraments of the church. The faithful children of the rosary shall merit a high degree of glory in heaven. All the advocates of the rosary shall have for intercessors the entire celestial court during their life and at the hour of death. The soul which recommends itself to me by the recitation of the rosary shall not perish. I promise my special protection and the greatest graces to all those who shall recite the rosary. Those who are faithful to recite the rosary shall have during their life and at, the, and, at the, and at their death the light of God. You shall obtain all you ask of me by the recitation of the rosary. All who recite the rosary are my sons and brothers of my only son, Jesus Christ. The rosary shall be a powerful armor against hell. It will destroy vice and decrease sin and defeat heresies. Whoever shall recite the rosary shall devoutly shall never be conquered by misfortune. I shall deliver from purgatory those who have been devoted to the rosary. All those who propagate the holy rosary shall be aided by me in, in their necessities. Devotion of my rosary is a great sign of predestination. Those are some pretty incredible promises. I personally have had many miracles happen in my life since I started praying my rosary every single day. Lots of things have changed in my life, and I personally have a testimony to praying the rosary, as well as many people all throughout the world. Several saints have, have wrote many books about the rosary, and many saints who have lived and died in the name of Jesus have all had a rosary in their hands. St. Padre Pio, it never left his hand. He said, the rosary is our weapon against evil. Think of every other church out there. Every single one of them has no weapons to defend themselves. That's what the devil did. He took our weapons away from us. The only place that still has our weapons is the Catholic Church, the original church, the church that the apostles built, the church that, had, that Jesus had St. Peter built. The sacramentals that we use help defend us from evil. Jesus used sacramentals. He grabbed the mud from the ground and he spit in his hand and he made a paste and rubbed it on the blind man's eyes and told him to go wash in the water. St. Paul also took handkerchiefs and aprons and, did, and God did great miracles in, in, with, through St. Paul by blessing these things and he had them taken to people and they would be healed because of them. Lots of sacramentals were used in the Bible. Why shouldn't we use sacramentals now? This is exactly why I wanted to promote the rosary. After this video, I'm going to be making 15 more videos on each mystery of the rosary. If you're interested in the rosary and you want to find out more information on them, you can Google lots of stuff. There's things all over the internet about the rosary. I'm also writing a book that will be coming out in September called Our Ordinary Lives Hold an Extraordinary Purpose. Look for that book on bookshelves, on barnesandnoble.com, on amazon.com. Um, look for me, Jared Bisson, the author, um, and uh, please subscribe below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.